We talked about B'nai Brock. I want to jump to our correspondent, Pierre Kloschandler, in B'nai Brock. I believe outside the supermarket, where I should stress, two Ukrainian foreign workers were killed. They were not refugees from the current fighting in Ukraine, Pierre. We, I think we have to stress that. <laughs> Absolutely. Dima and Victor, the two Ukrainian refugees that were just sitting here after having bought something in the mini market, they just sat here and they were just shot to death in this manhunt perpetrated by the terrorists. And these two men that you can see uh, just on the side, there's a picture in memory of them. These two men are just people who came here to work three years ago. And we've seen Ukrainian foreign workers here, who lit candles, who joined their hands in prayer and kneeled near the candles. But their grief, in a sense, was separate from the grief of the Israelis. They were not exactly together. They were in their own world. Although the Israelis have put a picture of them in their memory. So it was a very difficult moment. I saw a woman crying and she said, they were part of my family. Uh, they were not part of her family, but it was like one big family of Ukrainian workers who worked in construction, in renovation of buildings. And they were here resting after a hard day's work. Now, you have here a lot of people that are still coming, as you can see, lighting candles, families coming here, reporters as well, and there is some sort of mixed uh, atmosphere electrified by anger and at the same time a state of shock. A state of shock because it never happened here in Bnei Brak, in this suburb of Tel Aviv of 200,000 inhabitants. This city was plagued by the coronavirus pandemic, but it never had terror attacks. And now uh, you can hear all the time the people of Israel is alive and Bennett go home. And when Benjamin Netanyahu came here to visit the families of the victims, he, in a way, electrified the atmosphere. And there was an improvised demonstration with very virulent world, words against Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, who could not come here. This is a stronghold of ultra-Orthodox religious party who are unflinchingly pro-Netanyahu. And you could hear the clamor of the crowd, Haide Bibi, Hura Bibi. Uh, for the, the leader of the opposition and uh, the atmosphere was very tense and it's shifting from shock to tension, from shock to hatred with words like death to the Arabs and at the same time a lot of condolence to the families of the victim.